subscribe now. EU debates. Uh, had, when he first mentioned this idea, and in more concrete terms, together with President Michel, and he had some concrete ideas how this would work. And to be fully open, I don't see any conspiracy theories in all this. This is an important step forward for me, and I'm grateful to President Michel and to President Macron for the respective initiatives. So I know that there will be, always be those who are going to find a needle in a haystack but for everything that happened. But in order to have the opportunity to see each other twice a year and to discuss we with 27 leaders always, regardless of some situation, whether there is a war, a refugee crisis, or corona crisis, or I don't know what, to have opportunity twice a year to attend big summits and to be entitled to speak. This is a huge change and important thing, because you can say your positions, by that you can protect your country, you can ask, you can beg for your country, you can fight for your country more efficiently and effectively, even if only those things would be the consequence of what Mr. Michel was saying, that's not a little thing. But thank him for saying that we can discuss our problems, our troubles, and that once we reach agreement with North Macedonia and Albania how to move faster, then we reach Hungarian and Croatian borders where our trucks cannot arrive faster. And all that makes sense only if they could do that. In such a way, we could build something that would save our operational costs for the companies. A lot more money would stay in the country. Companies would earn a lot more money. And I've just named a tiny, small segment, small example. And you can discuss this separately, both about services and people and so on. So I believe that those are big things that are ahead so that we can do uh, many good things. I believe what Mr. Michel initiated is significant for all of us in the Western Balkans, and this visit is actually, an, let's say, adding additional energy into something as a consequence, which would have as a consequence this big summit in Brussels in June, where Serbia will have its representatives as well. And I believe this is a good thing. And it is always easy to find some flaws, some defects, and to criticize uh, something. I really cannot be among the majority of those who do that, and I cannot only have negative references. I don't see anything bad for Serbia in all this. And regarding Serbia, I believe that after discussions that I'm going to have with the government and representatives of the government, that we are going to be... Uh, affiliated this with great hope and great energy. Thanks. Uh, another question?